Selena Vega appears to be now teasing something major, so we'll see what's up there. We'll also check out what's going on with Naomi, The Rock, and more. Starting things off with Zelina Vega and her big teaser. While Day One Raw was on the air, Zelina Vega took to Twitter to tweet out one simple but extremely intriguing message. Zelina posted the message of, I have a little secret. Real vague, real simple, just a couple of words. But a lot of fans took that note of her post and instantly created a lot of talk. So what's Zelina's little secret that she's trying to hold in right now? Well, fans got some pretty good guesses that could lead towards some exciting revelations either way. By checking the quoted tweets and comment section of Zelina's tweet, you can easily see that the most popular fan guess to be Zelina's secret is the arrival and return of Andrade. The idea of seeing Andrade return to SmackDown and get involved in the LWO storyline is something we discussed a few days ago. But thanks to Zelina Vega's tweet, even more fans are wondering if Andrade could be her big secret after all. Like we spoke about before, Andrade is reportedly done with AEW and allegedly heading back to WWE. So if that's true, then many fans think he could be the secret that Zelina is teasing because of their history. LWO is in need of some more reinforcements and help right now, and what better way to help than for Zelina Vega to bring back Andrade and get instantly him involved in the LWO battle as a member of Rey Mysterio's side. It'll be a nice reunion to have within the faction, sort of like how WWE reunited Asuka and Kairi Sane within Damage Control, same sort of idea here with them potentially reuniting Andrade and Selena Vega within the LWO. It puts Andrade instantly on a pretty big stage and storyline, coming fresh off his return, and allows to see that big time reunion between the two of them. So that's something that fans have wishful thinking that Andrade is the big surprise secret that Selena Vega has. But if it's not Andrade, the second most popular fan guess is that it just has to be something related to the LWO storyline and getting the upper hand over Santos and his new crew. Could her secret be that she just received word that Rey Mysterio is on his way back soon and how they'll all be getting ready to secretly sabotage Santo Escobar's United States title tournament match? Something along those lines could be what Zelina Vega is referring to with her secret as well. So maybe it's not the big return of Andrade, maybe it's the return of Rey Mysterio, maybe it's another big moment for the storyline. WWE is hot right now with lots of amazing storylines to focus on, but definitely don't sleep on the LWO storyline because it looks like a lot of twists and turns and potentially big returns are all on the way there for that story. Speaking of hot and big storylines, we gotta talk about some more of The Rock, because 2024 really does seem to be the year that we'll finally see him back in the ring for a full entire match for the first time since 2013. We already discussed one of the obvious 2024 matches for The Rock, and that's clearly a collision with Roman Reigns sometime in the future. But could The Rock actually wrestle multiple matches throughout WrestleMania season? The Rock will be turning 52 in May and hasn't wrestled a full match in 11 years. So you do have to set back your expectations just a little bit and be aware of those facts. We can't expect him to just start wrestling so often and competing in 20 to 30 minute matches every week. Like The Rock has even said himself, the match with Roman was supposed to take place at WrestleMania 39, but The Rock didn't feel like he was in proper ring shape being in ring shape is obviously much different than being in regular shape. So that's what he was talking about when it came to why the Roman match was delayed for so long. So basically as a practice and exhibition match, fans are wondering if maybe we could see The Rock compete at Elimination Chamber against someone that isn't Roman Reigns. Way before The Rock had made his first return a few months back in September, Grayson Waller started verbally targeting The Rock and taking shots at him on SmackDown and social media. And when The Rock returned in September, fans were wondering if we could have seen some sort of backstage segment between Rock and Grayson Waller to pay off those weeks of insults from Grayson Waller. But it didn't happen. 
Well, all these months later and Grayson Waller still hasn't forgotten about The Rock. After The Rock made his return to the day one edition of Raw, Grayson Waller took to Twitter and tagged Austin Theory to tell him that the flop he destroyed on the mic a few months back has now gone running over to Raw. So Grayson Waller still has his eyes on The Rock, and that's making fans wonder if Grayson Waller could be that exhibition opponent for The Rock. Grayson Waller is Australian, and Elimination Chamber will be taking place in Australia. So what better way to have a match with The Rock in his home country would be a moment for him to remember for sure. And like we mentioned before, Australia has been pushing for The Rock to appear on their Elimination Chamber for the longest time now. So what if we do end up getting some payoff to Grayson Waller's numerous insults towards The Rock, with a one-on-one -on -one match between both of them at Elimination Chamber? Strictly an exhibition match, help The Rock knock off any ring dust he may have, and then have that lead him right into a match with Roman Reigns, either at WrestleMania or wherever that match could end up taking place at. Just a nice little warm-up match for The Rock before we see that massive dream match against Roman Reigns. They wouldn't tease it for no reason. Roman Reigns vs. The Rock is happening in 2024. And we've seen lots of legendary and iconic matchups over the last few years, but you can definitely argue that Roman Reigns vs. The Rock is the biggest match on paper with the most out of the world interest since probably John Cena vs. The Rock in 2012. You could argue that Roman vs. The Rock is right on the level with the hype heading into Cena and Rock's first meeting, maybe even higher, because this is a match that the fans have been discussing and dream booking for almost four years now. So it's going to be the biggest match the company has seen in quite some time, and who knows when the next time we'll get a match of this magnitude again. So we'll have to soak in every single moment. And the hot roll for WWE continues with the now rumored return of another major star. Fightful is reporting their sources within WWE and Impact Wrestling all believe that Trinity, formerly known as Naomi in WWE, is on her way back to WWE. Naomi was having a great run in WWE. She had her big storyline with Sonya Deville. She would later capture the women's tag team titles with Sasha Banks. And there was always fan theories about how Naomi would eventually find her way into the Bloodline story. So there was a lot going on there for Naomi. But as everyone knows, the 2022 backstage incident destroyed her relationship with the company, and she had no interest in returning. She's been at Impact Wrestling since leaving WWE and even captured the women's world title. But according to this new report, it seems like she's wrapping up in Impact Wrestling and heading back to WWE. Of course, a lot has changed since Naomi was an active member of the WWE roster. With the biggest thing being that Vince McMahon is obviously no longer in charge, like he was when she was last there. It's a fresh creative team, new management, and everything completely different from when she was last there. So that's probably what played a role in her making her decision on returning to the WWE again. It'll be exciting to see her return, because there's so many places for her to fit in. She can come after the WWE women's title on SmackDown, or maybe she finally does get involved in the Bloodline's issues. We know Jimmy Uso is still in the Bloodline, and he's still trying to gain some points with Roman Reigns. So what if Jimmy Uso brings Naomi back to WWE and into the Bloodline to try and have her capture even more gold for the family? Have her go after the women's title and bring it back to the Bloodline to try to get them back up to that prestigious level they were at a few years ago. Or maybe Naomi could even play a role in Jimmy and Jay's WrestleMania feud. Maybe Naomi could finally be in line with her husband, Jimmy Uso, in that feud. Or maybe she could even try and play the peacemaker between brothers. So many possibilities there for Naomi's return. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on. And leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.